Odd Taxi, the sleeper hit cult classic you should watch. Odd Taxi is the latest work from OLM Studio. The story is set in a world with anthropomorphic animals. In it, we follow the character of Otokawa, a 41-year-old walrus taxi driver. He usually converses with others that rides his taxi on their journeys around Tokyo. These conversations unravel into a series of mysteries, including that of a missing high school girl. The world of Odd Taxi is similar to our own, with the same trials and tribulations, but where the series shines is through its cleverly written dialogue. Characters have witty conversations, commenting on everything from the mundane to the complex. This show is built like a puzzle. Every character, every conversation, every detail, no matter how insignificant, contributes to the overall plot. Look, if you're new here and you're watching me for the first time, you might not be aware, but I'm kind of a sucker for anthropomorphic animal stories. I find it fascinating that you can examine human behavior through the lens of the characteristics of these animals. And this show, Odd Taxi, it's a very heavy dialogue kind of show. The entire story is told through conversation. You'll listen to quick-based exchange between characters and still miss out the meaning behind certain words or phrases if you aren't paying close attention. All these little details about certain events, character traits, and so on contribute to the exposition of the lingering mystery that builds in a crescendo of sorts, occasionally stopping for us, the viewer, to catch a breath via a funny scene or a dramatic confrontation happening to our lead walrus. Now, the characters in the show don't really fit the typical anime or manga trope. Otokawa isn't your typical lead character. He will avoid social interactions unless it's necessary, often maintaining a melancholic attitude and enjoying different radio programs on his taxi. Miho Shirakawa, a young alpaca nurse at Goriki's clinic who seems cheerful but has her own trials that she's overcoming. Eiji Kakihana. Otokawa's drinking buddy, a middle-aged white gibbon who works as a janitor and tries to pick up women through a dating app. Rui Nikaido, a toy poodle and the lead singer of Mystery Kiss, a new idol group looking to make it big. Dobu, a baboon gangster who suspects Otokawa is somehow involved in the missing girl case. The list goes on and on. Odd Taxi has a phenomenal roster of characters, each complex in their own right. They all have a weight to them and don't feel like throwaways or canon fodder, if you will. Each animal's plight gives us a sense at how rich the world building in Odd Taxi really is. But also, let's not forget about the city itself. She's a major factor and is sort of the silent character in all of this. The city is the one that bears everyone's weight, expressing herself visually through the taxi driver, unbeknownst to him as he connects all the stories together. In a way, the concept of the killing joke from Alan Moore can kind of be applied here. All it takes is one eventful moment in your life for it to spiral into a heap of trouble. From the pressures of internet fandom, addiction and catfishing to even selling drugs in the black market, all it takes is just one bad day. I think that is what I love most about Odd Taxi. Yes, these are funny looking animals, but deep down, they are all facing real issues real problems. Otokawa, our main protagonist, has a very unorthodox and, without spoiling anything, a pretty sad past. But I think it's through his love of vehicles and his job as a taxi driver that he evolves as a character, starting as a asocial walrus and moving forward, meeting the right or wrong individual, which leads him down a path of growth and, some would say, ending up a more confident animal as a result. Meanwhile, the other characters in the series are also facing various problems, their futures, hopes and dreams hanging on a thinly strung thread that sometimes can be cut indiscriminately without warning. It is how they react when the time comes that sets the narrative into high gear, whether that be the disappearance of an idol member, the perils of trying to become a social media influencer, online gambling addictions, uh, facing the reality of being old, uh, single and bored and looking for love. Each of these actions have consequences and when push comes to shove will these characters have what it takes to grow and solve their dilemmas 
on the technical side of things, the art in Odd Taxi, well, at least to me, oozes grit under the nightly neon lights of the city. It's drenched in style as the oddly CGI cars pass the fuzzy drawn backgrounds, blending the two with the focus being placed on the wonderful character designs. In what is probably one of the best shows of 2021, the cleverness of having a moody landscape and display with vibrantly rendered animals in an otherwise paranoia thriller adventure is not lost on me. I also have to give praise to the voice acting from the different seiyu that are going for a realistic mundane city folk minding their business instead of your standard anime vocal fanfare. Look, at the end of the day, this is just a spoiler-free review, my take on Odd Taxi, uh, but I think this is a show about growth in the face of adversity, overcoming your fears, and, and conversing with others. It isn't the taxi that's odd, but rather the people on board and the journeys to their destinations.